Hey guys, what's up? I'm Cadet Moorhart. I'm going to show you guys how to assemble and load an ASIP radio. Let's get started. So this right here is the radio itself with no battery inserted. This right here is the battery cap. And this here is the battery with the plug. Right here we have the hand mic, which goes into the top of the radio, lets you speak into it. And this right here is the antenna, which makes it actually work. So let's get started into actually building and assembling the radio. To get started, we're going to set the battery up first. So it's preschool shapes. Put the square in the square. Put the circle in the circle. Make sure the wire's not in between the wires. Simple stuff. And then we're going to put the lid on. This can get a little tough and take a lot of time for some people. But you see there's a lip on the lid right here, and it goes in the lip of the actual radio. Stick it in. Make sure the whole lid is in, lock it down, and it's not coming out. Now we're going to stand it up and put the antenna in. It's going to go right here in the top left on this metallic circle. Stick it on right there, make sure it's centered and on, and then we're just going to screw it on. There we go. It'll be a little tough sometimes. Now we're going to move on to the hand mic. Now this one can be plugged into either of the two holes on the right. Uh, we're going to go for the bottom right plug right here. Now, this isn't necessary for all hand mics, but they can be a little tough, so sometimes you got to just breathe a little hot air into the plug and it'll work a little easier. Then you're going to line up the flat part here with an L shaped indent that'll act as a hook for the actual hand mic to fit and lock in. Once it's in, you'll feel it and you'll be able to lift it by the hand mic and you'll know it's in. After that, we'll get into loading it. All right, so now let's get into loading the actual radio with all the information necessary. So there's a lot of different buttons and knobs here, and I'll show you and familiarize you with them right now. So right here we got the knob. You gotta pull it up and twist it to change it. Now, when you're loading the radio, you're gonna put it on load, which on here looks like LD. Now the other options that you have, you're not gonna worry too much about. There's also squelch, off, Z, rem, uh, standby test, but right now we're just going to focus on load and on. So we're on load. The radio has finished waiting and now we can start configuring the settings. So there's a lot of different menus on the settings. First we're going to press menu clear right here in the bottom left. That's going to bring us to volume. Now let's go ahead and put it on volume 9 so we can actually hear the radio. If you have a hand mic in you might hear a buzzing sound coming from the hand mic. That's okay, it'll fix itself. You press menu clear again and you're going to go to the next part of the settings, which is channel. Let's just say we're on channel one, so we're not going to change that. But if you wanted to, you could press change right here, which is on the number seven, CHG, and it'll bring you to a number of different types of channels. All right, after messing with the uh, channel settings and bringing it back to channel one, we're going to keep going through the menu of settings. And now here we're on power. So there's three settings for power. You can be on low, medium, or high and also PA, but we're going to worry about low, medium, and high. That's really just dependent on your terrain and the distance that you're going to need for the radios. So we're going to keep it on low because we're in a big open field right now, but say I'm in the forest, I might put it on high. This is going to change the battery uh, usage uh, and the power of the radio. So let's stay on low for now, and then we're on mode. So here in Cadet Land, we're going to use single channel, and we're going to use plain text. So from mode, you're going to go to SC, and comsec, you're going to go to PT using the change button on number seven. After that, you're done with the menu settings and we're going to move to frequency. So we're on frequency here. You press the freak button in the top right. You press the menu clear button. It brings up a bunch of dashes. Put in the frequency necessary. It's going to go 55000 here. And make sure you press stow to the right of the zero. After that, lift up the knob, turn it to the left, on, and you should be ready to speak on your radio. Hey. 